What's up guys, it's Mel back here with another video and today we are using Penny's Not Perfections monthly budget planner. So I am in the month of June and I wanted to go ahead off camera and put together all of the um, dates in the calendar because as you know with her budget spread she does not put the dates and we have to just kind of customize it ourselves because we can use it for any month so I wanted to support her small business because I've been watching her debt progress and pay down and I just thought it was really cool and wanted to support her so in the month of June I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers which I use in my memory keeping book so I'm gonna probably skip through this because it's gonna be a little long. So just bear with me. Now that we have all of the um, stickers down, I am going to go ahead and start with my monthly budgeting. So let's pull out the budget stickers by Happy Planner, Create 360 the Happy Planner, and we are going to go right in. Now my stickers may be a little bit too large for these, but we're going to try to make the best of it. So the first thing I want to do is pull out, or maybe I won't, hmm. Should I use payday stickers? I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do here, but we are going to kind of work through it. I definitely want to use my Feed the Pig stickers in these, so let's start with those, I guess. So on the Thursday on the 4th, yeah, see, these are gonna be huge, <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna say Feed the Pig on the 4th, and I have my little piggy stickers. As you guys know, I now have these on my Etsy shop. So if you guys want to purchase them, they are there, that you can do that. And so I get I feed the pig on the eight, the two times a month. And so this time um, in June is going to be on the 4th and the 18th. And then I have some payday stickers that I'm looking for right now. And I think those might be in this, let's see, maybe I can use some of these. So, I mean, not payday, but bill pay stickers. Let's see if they fit. The bill pay stickers are a little big for them, but I will use them. So I have a bill pay on the first, and I have a bill pay, uh, pay bill, sorry, a little dyslexia. I have another one on the 30th. I have one on the, Fifth as well. On the tenth, which are all those mortgages, and I have one on the seventeenth. I have one on the eighteenth as well, but it's looking like it's too full, so I will have to just make a note of it. Maybe I'll put like a bill pay sticker somewhere. The fourteenth which is my cell phone. And then on the, actually 18th has a lot of bills, but we're not, we're just gonna keep rocking. And then the 27th, which is my utilities. So I just wanna check, yeah. And then since this is too full, I think what I'm gonna do is find a, a different sticker that I can, kind of use here to say, hey look, you've got a bill due. And that looks like, uh, hmm, I don't know what to do. Let's go through some of these other little stickers that I have here that I can use. And is this a bill pay? This, I guess I could use this one here. From, oh, from the Planner Kate, this little tiny one. And I'm gonna stick that on the 18th because the 18th has, like I said, quite a few things that need to be paid. 
So I'm gonna go in with this blue marker and just put a note down here that says on the 18th I have equals um, uh, student loans loans due equal 500 I have consumer debt due and that is going to be 1700 this month and then I also have um, real estate oh, and I, I need to add that in actually real estate office rental due and that is 488 I'm just gonna average it so that's what that means now so then the first one here is C4C in HD and that's $400 then I'm gonna pull this out so we can write on it and then this one here is internet that's 137.17 this is insur car insurance and that is 170 is what I guesstimate then this one is utilities that's 125 and that's the utility I'll just put utilities here this one is uh, student loans because as you guys know I have two and that one is um, 450 and I've been paying these a little higher now and I plan to pay it even more uh, so these are mortgages and as you guys know they're astronomical because I'm including I'm including like my my actual house plus the rent um, the investment properties and this one is cell phone and this I'm again trying to figure a way to get that down and I've been watching Shea Buttons and Shea actually has a prepaid phone so her she and her husband have a prepaid phone which I'm looking into to see if that's something that I can do because 170 a month is astronomical for cell phones and I have two of them so it's like why am I paying that much when she pays like $70 for two so crazy um, the other thing I wanted to add in here is the bills for real estate and those usually come out um, at the end of the month so I'm gonna just put them both here and as you guys I've been kind of fluctuating with where they go but that is going to be a total of $300 I'm just gonna put real estate here and that's for business expenses and that's $300 all right so that is what our month of June 2020 is looking like. And again, I'm using Penny's Not Perfections monthly budget spread. So that is my plan for this. I'm going to start doing an every dollars um, calendar spread and budget so that you guys can see how I'm doing that. But I wanted to at least get the budget down and show you guys this is what we've got pay to pay for the month and so far we're looking pretty good so that is pretty much it guys thank you guys so much for watching in june as you guys know i'm in florida living trying to have somewhat a of a vacation at my family house so we are just kind of staying committed to our budgeting and we can't wait to see what happens in the month of june all right guys well thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one